In this video, we're going to look at how Xamarin Forms allows you to create your UI using a common shared set of classes, which then generate the specific native UI on each platform. Application UI is defined in terms of pages and views. Recall that the application is the starting point for your app, and it will identify the main page for the application. Pages are used to describe a single screen for your app. Then we add in views which represent the individual controls or widgets that the user will interact with. Page represents a single screen in your app, and your application will always have at least one of these. This is an abstract class, and there are several derived classes that are used for a variety of purposes. One of the main page types you will use is the Content Page class. This is used to hold a single piece of content assigned through a property named Content. Most apps will subclass content page for each screen they create, and this is actually the default page added into your app. Next we have Master Detail Page. This one has two properties, Master and Detail, which are assigned to pages, typically content page objects. This page then manages displaying the two pages together, sliding the details out based on the Is Presented property, True equals Master Page is visible, False Detail Page is visible. On a tablet device with more screen real estate, the system will allow both master and detail pages to be displayed at the same time. Navigation page enables typical stack-based navigation with a navigation bar header where you push child pages onto the stack and they become the active page. Popping them off then restores the previous page. The constructor for this page type takes the initial child page to display, and just adding this to your app causes your application to get a native navigation bar. Tab page allows you to switch between a set of child pages through a tab bar running at the top or bottom of the UI, depending on the platform. The child pages are all added to the children collection and can each have a title and an icon associated with them. There is also support for overflow if too many tabs are added and the device does not have the capability to display them all at once. Finally, the carousel page enables swiping left to right to change from one page to the next kind of like the pages in an ebook. Like the tabbed page, the pages are set into a children collection and this page class navigates between them. Next, you'll populate your pages with views. These are the typical controls you have used on other UI frameworks and all the common ones you'd expect for a mobile platform are present here. View is the base class for all visual controls. Most standard controls are present. The Xamarin Forms controls you use to describe the UI are really just a model definition. At runtime, each platform, iOS, Android, and UWP, will take the object graph you create and turn it into a native representation using native platform-specific controls. The piece of code that does this is called the renderer. Each control you use in Xamarin Forms, including the custom ones you might build yourself, must have a platform renderer registered for it, which will create the appropriate visualization based on the properties set on the control. For example, if we create a Xamarin Forms button and set the text property to Click Me, then on Android, the Android platform renderer will take that definition and create an Android widget button in response. On iOS, the iOS platform renderer will take that definition and turn it into a UI button. And on Windows, the renderer will create a Windows UI XAML controls button. The important thing here is that you define the UI in a shared fashion once, but get a native UI on each platform that looks and feels natural to that platform. The view classes expose properties which let you adjust the visualization rendered on each platform. Most properties do exactly what you'd expect, but be aware that they can be interpreted differently on each platform, and in some cases might even be ignored if the platform doesn't support that particular feature. As you might expect, views expose events that allow your code to react to input from the user. These are abstracted for you into common event behaviors. So for example, when the platform-specific controls that represent an editable text field is changed, it raises the Xamarin Forms text changed event, as you can see here on the screen. The design should be very familiar to anyone who has worked with a .NET-based framework, and you can use any .NET event handler you like here.